A recent study has ranked Michigan among the worst states for working families coming in third from the bottom. The report points to expensive child care, public school rankings, and the cost of living among the many factors. Our L. Myers met with a mother and a daycare operator for more insight. She has that story from Lansing. Michigan doesn't guarantee paid maternity leave, has a high cost of living, and our public schools rank 29th. But we do rank near the top of a list you don't really want to be on. Michiganders pay some of the highest prices for childcare when compared to other states. Courtney Eastman's kids are almost out of the age range for needing child care, but she still pays for before and after school care. It's, it's expensive. It's like a car payment, you know, another car payment. She tells me other moms and dads in her community are feeling the same high cost, which often forces a tough decision. Annually, it's like $50,000 or more, and there are dads and moms choosing to stay home because it's too expensive. They might as well stay home and care for their children and either wait till they're school aged or pursue something else, maybe a work from home option. According to select software reviews, which compiled data from the World Population Review and County Health Rankings, Michiganders typically pay about 41% of their income on childcare alone. Those high costs are because of more than one reason, according to Dr. Angela Dawson, who owns a daycare center in Detroit. There is a bidding war, for one, for staff. I've been in child care since 1997, and this today we're paying our staff more than we've ever paid staff. It is a business. Now, neither of the women I talked to told me they were surprised by the rankings, but Dawson tells me she'd like to see more support from state government to help bring down costs and keep daycares open. For now, reporting in Lansing, I'm L. Myers, CBS News, Detroit.